Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Sunday, January 31st, 2021, and we are starting our 45th week of dealing with this Chinese bat flu, stay at home, avoid your family and friends, stock up on food, go stir crazy. <laughs> mess of a pandemic. Uh, right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it's going on 4 p.m. It is uh, 74 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Humidity levels are 53%. It's almost 80 degrees in here. That would be 23 degrees Celsius out there, 26 C in here so uh, I didn't go out camping last night <laughs> whole lot of whole lot of other stuff but uh, we'll have some tea ah uh, this is a twinings lemon and ginger not an advertisement for twinings I don't always use twinings. I use whichever one is the cheapest at the store at that point in time. I do like the uh, lemon and ginger, or ginger and lemon, or however they put it. But then I augment it. This has candied ginger down in the bottom. Uh, it's also got powdered ginger, and then I added lemon, and it's got a orange blossom honey. So. Uh, about two teaspoons of orange blossom honey to a glass that size. It's tasty. Goes down good. Um, so yeah, I was getting ready to go out yesterday afternoon, Saturday. Uh, I had everything, almost everything loaded back up into the van. I had, had the, the sheet and the blankets and I was taking the pillows out when the phone rang. And it was my brother. He wanted to run to Walmart. And I thought, all right, I've got plenty of time. It's only like an hour and a half to where I was where I was headed. So, you know, I'll take a little bit of time, run him to Walmart because they don't. He doesn't have a car, and you never know, you know. And uh, I, I never know when they're going when they're going to call and need a need a ride somewhere. Not a major big deal. <laughs> so I thought. <laughs> Uh, this brings to mind the time I took my oldest daughter out shopping for her prom. Well, out shopping for her prom. I mean, first it was the dress. And I don't know how many stores we went to. Shoes, I know we spent the better part of two days shopping for shoes. And I don't think there was a store within an hour's ride that we didn't hit to try for shoes. And then come to find out, once she got to the dance, she kicked the shoes off and danced barefoot. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so I didn't, I thought, you know, they needed a few a few groceries or, or whatever and, you know, went over and picked him up. And no, he's uh, totally redoing his room. Uh, they had new carpets put in throughout the house and whatever. And, um, so, he wanted, he was redoing his room, right, like all the clothes and stuff are, so, anyway, uh, and he wanted to go in gray, and he's buying those plastic dresser things, and I'm like, dude, you got the money, just buy real stuff, no, 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 I'll change my mind, blah, 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 and he's right. Uh, my brother is the type, he's totally unlike me, he is the total, total opposite. Um, he is a minimalist to the max. Um, yeah, he, do, he doesn't keep whole, a whole lot of anything. Uh, other than like his little matchbox and Hot Wheels and stuff like that. He's got, he's got thousands of those things. But anyway, um, so we went to, we went to the Walmart 
and he picked up a couple of things. He's like, eh, they didn't have, they didn't have, you know, this and that, and it's like, all right, well, I picked up a few things to, to, while I was there, you know, um, stuff that needed to be refrigerated. So I said, all right, I got to run back to the house, then we'll go hit the hit the next Walmart. I don't know how many of y'all uh, realize or how many of y'all been uh, around with me for a while, but uh, Walmarts are about 20 minutes apart here, between 20 minutes and a half hour apart. So I can hit, from where I'm sitting right now, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I could hit any one of six Walmarts within a, within a half hour. I want to extend that out to 40 minutes and that increases it. There's another one. There's another two. And then, yeah. So anyway. Um, we ended up hitting four stores yesterday in order for him to get what he, what he wanted. Um, he, the the three-drawer dresser stands about the height of a table. Um, the first three places didn't have them at all. But the, the service desk at the, the, the third one called or checked around or did something or whatever and told us where, this, where this, other, this other store had them in stock. And we got there and they weren't on the shelves, but he was bound and determined and he went and talked to somebody and they went in the back. And he found two of them. So, long story short, we were out for about three and a half hours, four hours, <laughs> buying all this stuff. And he bought everything. He bought he bought the he bought the, the three drawer dressers. He bought the little two drawer or, or little little uh, square cubed type uh, thing and. It was a, an end table. He bought a, a, a lamp. Everything was in gray. And he was like tickled, tickled to death about it. Uh, bought a, a uh, laundry basket and a trash can. And everything was all in the same color. And he was right. It went really well with the new carpet in that room. So, <laughs> but still. Uh. Anyway, so I didn't go. And I thought about coming home and saying, all right, well, we'll just go do like a parking lot or something like that. And, and I got to thinking about it. It's like my sleep schedule is still, I don't sleep at night, you know, well, excuse me, until four or five o'clock in the morning. So that would mean basically like laying in the back of the van for several hours and, uh, you know, doing whatever, reading or, or watching YouTube or. Um, what have you and then like trying to get a couple hours sleep when once the sun comes up well like I said it's 70 some odd degrees outside it's almost 80 in here I can imagine that in the van it is well over 80 so you know when I when I did get up I guess I got up about noon 30 something like that um you know, it was it was already warm, so I would have been roasted in the back of the van. I need to come up with an air conditioning system that I can use on the what what I can use off grid. So I have one in mind. I've got all the material to do it. I just haven't made it. Um, I did I did a dry run on it at one point, and then changed it, but. Hmm. Excuse me. Got the the daisily thing going on at the moment. There's a lot of pollen in the air again. So end of the end of the month, beginning of a new season. But yeah, it's gonna start getting warm now. Not un not unseasonably warm or uncomfortably warm, but enough where I'm gonna want some sort of uh, cooler air system. Or I have to run the van, and you know she's got high mileage on her. I don't want to leave her idling for, you know, seven or eight hours. But so yeah, um, 
I really, I, I really had, was really looking, kind of looking forward, I was looking forward to, to getting out there and seeing, uh, what this, what that area looked like. I looked a little while ago, because it, it is, it is a little overcast, and, um, you know, the humidity is a bit high, and I pulled up my radar, and the area that I was looking to go camping in, uh, is been getting rain bands going across it for the past couple of hours, at any rate, and, uh, I don't know how far back that goes, but, you know, I'm kind of glad that I wasn't four and a half miles down a dirt road in a two-wheel drive van with it raining, uh, you know, and then I've got a mud, a muddy road to, to work my way back out. So, uh, maybe things happen for a reason, right? Anyway. Some of y'all may remember a few months back, uh, I don't know, two months ago or whatever, I picked up a blanket at Ollie's, a really nice uh, acrylic fleece type blanket, really pretty white with a, like a, a north, southwest Indian type print maybe, I don't know. Um, An interesting print. It was a, it's a very pretty blanket. It's very soft. It's nice and warm. But it's one of one, two, three, four, five blankets sheet combinations that I have on my bed. And I've been carrying it, it I've been putting it on the middle level. So I have a I have my sheet, then I have a a wool blend, and then that acrylic and then another uh, acrylic fleece blanket, and then a comforter. Well, it's nice and toasty warm. I mean, the problem is that blanket is it's slippery, so it it slides down between the between the blankets, between the two that it sits on. I've tried it on the top, and it slides down. I've tried it underneath. And then everything on top of it slides off. <laughs> so it's like it, it's a loner blanket, you know. It, it just it doesn't want to be. It doesn't want to share with the other blankets, I guess. But uh, it's a little, a little aggravating for me at night. I like to have, like, if I've only got one blanket, then I've only got one blanket. If I got two blankets, I don't want one here and one down here I notice the difference and it throws me off so I try to keep the blankets together that's why sleeping with like two two different size blankets doesn't work very well for me um, but so yeah I I have to figure out what I'm going to do if I'm going to go ahead and uh, just take that off and maybe just use it in the van or take it off and just use it in the summer. Excuse me. But in the summer, I have that in, in in the bedroom. I've got the I've got the windows covered with insulation and then thick curtains. Even now, and then running the air the air conditioner with the door shut. You know, I get that room back there. It feels like a like a mini refrigerator. So. I like having several blankets on, but uh, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> like I said, it's a really nice blanket. It feels really nice, and it's nice to, if, like, just laying back there. Right now, this computer is dead, so I need to replace it. Pro I'll probably get another one after my check comes in this week. Um... But in the meantime, I'm, I'm using that one in the back more than I have in the past. Like, you know, most of the evening or whatever, I'm back there watching the computer laying on the bed. So I've been using that nice soft blanket as a as the blanket. instead. Of, you know, I, don't, I don't cover with all my blankets. I'll be roasting and having to run the air conditioner. But um, 
just that just that one blanket is enough when you know without running the without running the heater and stuff like that so um, it's nice that way but then you know make, remaking the bed and putting it back under the blankets and whatever and then all night long I have to reach down and either pull that one up or pull the other ones up over top of it and uh, yeah so probably end up just taking it off and leaving it off to the side just using it when I'm chilly in the evenings and uh, we'll go from there but uh, the other thing was um, I bought some stuff for for uh, for dinner uh, you know to go out when, when I went with my brother one of the things I one of the reasons I thought all right I'll go you know I'll help him to go out was because I needed to stop at Walmart uh, or someplace for a few things to go with me you know to go camping or whatever uh, fresh hamburger and an onion and uh, rolls and you know what what have you so um, so that's all sitting waiting <laughs> actually I, I did put the hamburger, hamburgers in the freezer last night but uh, now I don't know what I want to make for dinner tonight last night I ended up uh, Bob bought dinner at um, McDonald's at, at one of the one of the Walmarts so he's like I, need, I owe you dinner and I'm like nah, well yeah yeah but you know, this isn't dinner <laughs> usually we go out once a month uh, to some place and uh, we haven't done it the past couple of months because of the, the Wuhan flu and whatever and, and Sloosh uh, has been a little laid up. She had some surgery on her arm. She had a, a tendonitis or something she had operated on. And she's been very... I mean, she's 80. 80? Yeah. So, you know, she's been very, very careful what she's doing and getting out and being around people or whatever. But, anyway. Um, excuse me. He also filled the tank up on the, on the bread puzzle, which was nice of him. So, uh, but yeah, you know, so I didn't, I didn't really have anything last night to make up. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe, I don't know, it's four o'clock and kind of overcast and whatever, I don't know. Every place I've been thinking, everything, every place I think of to go, that I've gone in the past to like sit and cook or whatever, um, Either it's, if it's a park, it closes at 6 o'clock or, or when the sun goes down. Uh, or, like, my favorite spot out along the river, it's closed down. You can't get there. So, <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, you know, where do I go? What do I do? I don't want to just sit in a park a lot and cook. And I could, I, I mean, I cook here all the time. There's nothing, nothing special about cooking a hamburger. You know, on a stove. <laughs> You're cooking a hamburger on a stove. You know? Part of getting out and doing is doing it a little different. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge. Maybe this will be the only video today. Maybe I'll come, maybe I'll think of something else. I don't know. One thing I want to do. Excuse me. I'm going to delete one of my videos that I just made for this candle, this oil lamp thing, because it doesn't work. And the only thing I can think of, I've I've been messing with it and messing with it and messing with it. The only thing I can think of is the oil isn't it doesn't burn well. Um, Everything else, I mean, I've, I've done everything the same way with other lanterns, and it works fine. So, this one, the flame, it, it's there for a little bit, and then it just slowly kind of putters out. And, uh, 
Yeah, so I'm going to take that one off because I don't like it. This one, this little one, I went and found a, a larger can. Actually, I was at the, checking my mail, and this was in the in the trash can. I picked that up and said, hey, I know what I can do with that. And it's... I used the I used the open part as the bottom, so any water that gets in will drain out. But it throws it throws a nice light. This one, same cord, different oil. This one will burn for hours and hours. It's got I haven't even refilled it. It's got about five hours worth of burn on it. Doesn't put out much flame, just an itty bitty little flame, not a whole lot of light, but there's a little. And then this gets this gets very warm, very very warm up here, and even out part of these wings get warm. So that one doesn't give me a problem, but this one, like I said, I think we're gonna go ahead and go in and delete that video, just because. I thought it was going to work. I mean, an oil lamp, or an oil lamp, it's so easy. You know, it's it, it's a very simple thing to do, and I thought, sure, why not? But apparently, I don't know what's in that. In fact, let's uh, see what it says while I'm here. I don't know if I should do another video about why I deleted it. It just says soybean oil. I know soybean oil burns. It must, it, it's got to be adulterated with something. Cut somehow or another. It can't be, it can't be pure soybean oil. Anyway. That's one thing I'm going to do. I got to get on my PC to do that. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're running up on uh, 25 minutes here. So I'm going to go ahead and sign this out. Uh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever did you all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on social media, that'd be fandoculous. If you want to check me out on Facebook or Instagram, I'll have links in the description box wherever that is, your device of choice. you also find links to similar videos, related videos. You'll find my uh, Facebook and Instagram You'll also find things like my uh, my email, PayPal, in case you want to you know, buy me a cup of coffee or a slice of pizza. Um, you'll find my regular address in case you want to send me something, you know, wicked crazy cool, like a skull or a postcard, a bag of rocks. <laughs> I love it. Um, Amazon wish list. Yeah, that's getting longer and longer and longer. <laughs> uh, so, um, whoever whoever mentioned the Amazon wish list, <laughs> that that's as dangerous as as just like um, my Amazon my Amazon shopping cart is full. I think there's like five hundred and some odd dollars worth of stuff on it. Uh, or there was. I went through it yesterday and put a lot of stuff either into my wish list or down into wait for later. And then I think I've got a, eh, about $50 uh, to go ahead and buy uh, stuff that I'm, you know, fairly certain I want. <laughs> Before I actually pull the trigger, I'll go through again and double check and be like, uh, do I need that this month or can it wait? 
you know, anyway. Um, uh, tangents, going off on tangents, tangents, tangents. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. On that note, I had a fantastic comment from Randall. Uh, he said that he took this advice and is now back in touch with his uh, with his family. So that is awesome. Excuse me. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. Until I see you all again, I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slaunchy, y'all. Ah. Bye-bye.